think if you have recently been playing Ultimate Team or if you just keep up with FIFA 15 news, I think a lot of us will have heard of the new update. But the question I'm going to ask today is, has EA ruined FIFA 15 Ultimate Team? In my point of view, I think they have. I think it's not as good as it used to be because if you don't know what they have done, they have basically put it so there is like pli uh, price ranges uh, on people, and that's basically so. Uh, say you can only put a player up for a s so big an amount. Uh, say Ronaldo, I think the maximum amount you can go up to uh, is nine million. So let's like, say I say if I had uh, just say I had Falcao. Uh, I uh, the maximum amount I could put for him to be on the buy now price I couldn't put up to thirty thousand. See if the max price was eighteen thousand, I could only go up to eighteen thousand. So now, when you used to be able to sell tons and tons of players, for loads and loads and loads, and make an awesome, awesome team, well, you, you just can't do that anymore because now you uh, it's so bad. Even man of the matches are uh, like. 10k now it's, it's stupid it, it is really stupid and in my point of view here yeah, i've just ruined this and the question is why have they done it you know what it, do you know what they're doing why they've done this because here yeah, money grab money 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 that's all they want all the time because yeah because basically i i think that it was because they want money i think it was because basically coin sponsors from famous youtubers and i think because like i think i was like there's only a few youtubers that do buy fifa points and not many people are buying fifa points when there is youtubers telling them to go putting codes on the on you know this and that website and get like five percent off and basically ea really wanted people to get fifa points so now the only way to get um, to get quite a lot of like money to buy packs is actually FIFA points, so not money at all. So you can't even buy good players with coins anymore without opening the pack and actually getting someone good. And what a goal there actually! I would get that replay. But that's basically what I, what has uh, happened. It is really, really stupid, and it has really annoyed me. And not many people that I know are going for FIFA anymore. Um, but basically, EA just doing it to get money, and the, the EA though, this is really dumb because they even they say it is so there is fairness in uh, players. How is that fair? Like it says, so you can actually afford a player. How are you meant to afford a player? It's 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 just stupid because now. You can't even sell a player for that much anymore because the most I could sell my um, uh, um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, the most I could sell my storage for was up to nine k. So that's it. that is it. Yeah, I've ruined FIFA, and obviously I'm still gonna go and open the team. I'm not quitting. The thing is, the FIFA points for a lot of them say a million. Is just a rip off. I mean, even 425 quid, uh, uh, 15 quid, and I buy 50 points to put these pack opening. So, I mean, if they're a rip off, I mean, like, not many other YouTubers are going to be doing them either. So, it's going to be affecting probably YouTube channels as well. So, they're basically affecting everyone, not even the FIFA community, just everyone. Because now there'll be people that are having to get their kids I'm having to buy tons and tons and tons of FIFA points where they could have just gone on a website and just got like a little discount and not uh, been a rip off but that's all I was going to talk about today so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, episode and I'll be here for this episode I'll see you next time